Aloha, I'm Kelly Nakahara, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Honolulu Mayor Rick Bangiardi is considering an update to the Safe Access Oahu plan. The mayor on Wednesday stopped short of announcing new restrictions amid the recent surge in Omicron cases, but changes to Safe Access Oahu could arrive soon. Blangiardi is looking at changing the program's definition of fully vaccinated to include the COVID-19 booster shot. Safe Access Oahu requires that patrons show proof of vaccinations or a negative COVID-19 test before entering businesses like restaurants and bars. The state is also deciding on a booster shot requirement for its Safe Travels program. Blangiardi said he would consider updating Safe Access Oahu in tandem with changes made to Safe Travels. The new requirements could arrive mid-February. The State Department of Health today reported nine new coronavirus-related deaths and 5,911 new infections statewide. The latest fatalities were recorded on Oahu. Hawaii has seen 190,678 infections and 1,135 COVID-related deaths since the start of the pandemic. State health officials today reported 3,901 new cases on Oahu, 567 on Hawaii Island, 996 on Maui, 276 on Kauai, 43 on Molokai, and 28 on Lanai. 100 Hawaii residents were diagnosed outside the state. There were 1,105 new active cases reported today, bringing the state's total to 57,708. Of all the confirmed infections in Hawaii, 5,457 have required hospitalization. 14 new hospitalizations were reported today. Leaders in the State House of Representatives set an ambitious agenda for the new legislative session Wednesday. Among the proposals unveiled on opening day was a $600 million commitment to the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. House Speaker Scott Psyche said the funds will go towards clearing a backlog of about 20,000 Native Hawaiians who are waiting to move into livable homes. Psyche said the House also wants to increase the minimum wage from $10.10 an hour to $18 an hour. The last increase to Hawaii's minimum wage came back in 2018. Legislators also plan to tackle the Red Hill water crisis, an expected boom in tourism, and management of Mauna Kea. Oahu has recorded its first traffic fatality of 2022. According to the Honolulu Police Department, a 66-year-old man was struck by a truck late Friday night at the intersection of Nimitz and San Island Access Road in Kalihi. Police say a 48-year-old Pearl City man driving westbound on Nimitz hit the 66-year-old man from Waipahu as he was crossing the highway in a marked crosswalk against a do-not-walk sign. The pedestrian was taken to a hospital in critical condition where he later died. The driver was not injured. Police said an investigation is ongoing but speed, drugs and alcohol do not appear to be contributing factors in the incident. Meanwhile, the Hawaii County Police Department is seeking the public's help in locating a missing 12-year-old girl who was last seen in Hilo Wednesday night. Kailea Kekipi was last seen at the 1700 block of Kinaole Street. She is described as, as 4 feet, 11 inches tall, and 97 pounds with shoulder-length black hair and brown eyes. Kekipi was seen wearing a black long sleeve shirt and blue jeans. Anyone with information is asked to call 911. One of the state's top football prospects is no longer planning to attend the University of Hawaii. St. Louis quarterback A.J. Bianco announced Wednesday that he has switched his commitment to the University of Nevada. Bianco previously committed to Hawaii before deciding not to sign during December's early signing period. In a social media post, Bianco said Nevada presents the best opportunity to succeed in the classroom and on the field. The University of Hawaii's football program has gone through turmoil since the end of the regular season. Todd Graham resigned last Friday after two seasons with the Warriors and the search is ongoing for a new coach. Bianco said the uncertain situation at Hawaii was a factor in his decision. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo and have a great day. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.